The absent pampers too, by the way. They come in Tuesday. Oh, it's so nice. Thank you. That's gotcha. more than you probably ever get. But, um... <laughs> Boy, <it's... laughs> you white ass love it. Showed some evidence that they've been in contact since the day I met her till today. It's kind of like, who's to say who has more influence or impression, you know what I'm saying? Since Lil Mabu and Krishan dropped their joint diss track aimed at Blueface, the entire internet has been set alive by the feud, and it appears Blueface isn't too happy about all of it. In just a week, the video is sitting on 7 million views. When Lil Mabu first dropped the track with Krishan, he had originally DM'd Blueface MTYB in September, in clear anticipation of what he was about to drop, which would shock the entire internet. Since that, he has also made it known Blueface has blocked him on Instagram because of the diss track itself, which goes to show he isn't taking all of this very well. In response to the track itself, Blueface posted a picture on X with the caption, This will tell you all you need to know where it shows that Lil Mabu has no platinum records, whereas Blueface has a number of hit songs. Lil Mabu didn't take a liking to that post as he stated in response, Cause I didn't sign a 360 label deal like you did. We independent. Middle finger emoji, brain emoji, watch this. Lil Mabu did make it known a few months ago that he would be studying in college while doing music, and it does appear to be working, as now Lil Mabu is arguably bigger than ever. His biggest thing he likes to flex on all rappers is that he's independent and is showing artists you can study and do music without the need for a label and have strong success still. Krishan Rock even chimed in on X regarding Lil Mabu and the Blueface drama and posted, How you sit and talk about a white boy you DM first then Mabu chose to FCK with me instead? Now all of a sudden you don't know him? Which is interesting, as she's making it out as if Blueface originally messaged Lil Mabu, and he was the one that ignored the message, and now this track is out, and he's acting all oblivious. It shows the kid is making the right moves, and most rappers probably know who he is now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell, this way you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. Lil Mabu then said in response to Krishan's post, Fanned out activity, clown emoji, at Blueface Bleed him. A lot of fans are confused why Lil Mabu is constantly tweeting to Blueface. And you have to remember this is all marketing for his upcoming album Young Genius Academy. And he's growing his Twitter with Krishan and Blueface as they both have over 1 million followers. Randomly, Blueface decides to indirectly fire back and ask fans a question. Have you ever seen Malibu's Most Wanted? Which I'm not too sure what he was trying to get at with that, but Lil Mabu then replied with, Have you ever seen Family Guy? Where he clarified was Stewie from Family Guy with a BBL, taking shots at his girlfriend, Jaden Alexis. Blueface around the same time posted out, I love money, money bag emoji. And yet again, Lil Mabu saw this as an opportunity to post. Me too, double exclamation point emoji, I like Blueface faces, dollar bill emoji, so I took his baby, dollar eyes emoji. There's a part of me that feels blue faces in on the whole feud, and is wanting Mabu to continue the drama because it is bringing in millions of viewers which is being monetized. The fact Blueface has a reality TV show with Krishan Rock goes to show this man is all about his money, so don't put it past him to be the guy orchestrating this feud. Blueface also posted, I know a fan when I see one, yawning emoji. Then Lil Mabu used it as a time to promote his diss track, which even managed to reach number one trending worldwide, which is pretty insane. One of the more shocking turn of events in this whole drama, in a post that gained over 30 million views on Twitter, is where allegedly Krishan Rock got a tattoo in support of Lil Mabu on her stomach. Krishan Rock appears to get a Mabu's PSSY tattoo on her lower stomach after releasing the new song Mr. Take Ya BTCH with Lil Mabu. A lot of fans had mixed reactions by this with posts like LMAO, after Will Smith and Jada, the next people we are tired of are Krishan and Blueface, crying emoji. She will do anything to get Blueface's attention. Could be fake, lol, I pray. Realistically, it's most likely a Photoshop job which only took around 10 minutes to do, just to get the attention of the internet, which it was successful in doing so. Before we go any further into the video, what do you guys see coming from all of this? Is Blueface going to jump Lil Mabu or will he continue on living his life and just ignore it? Comment down below. In a troll response to Krishan's alleged tattoo of Lil Mabu, he said, Please respect our privacy. Facepalm emoji. 
which goes to show how much of a troll this guy really is. And most of the internet is buying into this drama. In the last video we made on this situation, we checked out WAC 100's alleged screenshots, where Krishan Rock was planning to get people to rob or jump Blueface at his house as she provided an apparent address of Blueface. Well, of course, she wasn't happy with this as she posted. WAC 100 know for sure he made those fake ass screenshots. Y'all can keep up with the BS. Team up all you want, I'm still gonna keep shitting on y'all. And be careful with the lies. I got someone that worked in that field of work to take your rat ass to court for your lies. Lil Mabu evidently has Krishan's back as he posted out, My father is a lawyer. Let's not play that game. Handshake emoji. Could you imagine there's a court case involving Blueface, Krishan Rock, and Lil Mabu that would be the most random courtroom you could possibly put together? A few days ago, Blueface was on the No Jumper podcast with his girlfriend Jaden Alexis and got asked about his thoughts on Lil Mabu and Krishan's diss track. She says I hate my baby daddy in the song and she's like proclaiming that this white boy Lil Mabu is like her her new man, which I, I kind of... That's probably a clout move, but I mean, either way go, I don't... Yeah, that's like some shit you don't even take serious. But now it's like you have to perform. Like I don't think that that that's me. I'm not. I don't feel threatened by that. That was trash. You weren't impressed. No, I mean I thought it was gonna be something better. Really? Me too. I thought I don't know if I should be mad at the writer or her for her performance projectiling. Of course, they would say that the track is trash, but there's a reason it has got everyone's attention. It's clearly because it was good for what it's worth, and most likely better than anything Blueface or Jaden can put out there. A few days back, both Krishan and Lil Mabu were on a live stream together, as he even asked Mabu the question if he had a crush on her. Mabu, why are you trying to sell that you got a crush on me? Do you got a crush on me or no? Nah, it's, it's not a crush at all. <laughs> Cause you keep doing this shit when you be like fake flirting. Like, what do you mean? I ain't fake flirting. This shit, this shit. We just, you know what I'm saying? We locked in. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I'm just trying. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to be just trying to put down right like there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we don't got a time. Yo. Surely the next couple won't be Lil Mabu and Krishan, because if so, that's the most unlikely couple to form in 2023. Literally no one could have predicted that even happening. Last night at an NFL game, Blueface ended up proposing to Jaden Alexis. It just seems both Blueface and Krishan are doing anything and everything to get at one another at this point. Furthermore, Blueface and Jaden are business partners with their brand new record company, MILF Music, which purports to solely have female artists with children on its artist list. It'll be interesting to see what comes from this over the coming weeks and if Blueface decides upon responding with a track back or not. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.